hey, guess what? It is actually time. Kingdom is time. So love from love, hope from hope, and welcome to the station. And uh, it's time to lower our defenses, and it's time to rejoice like never before. These are the days when the great jubilee of jubilees shall begin, and we can sing a brand new song. And that was a prophecy that was written for these days because the fullness of understanding of our beloved love of the ages has finally come forth. And so I welcome you. Love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our prince thereof. And I welcome you because this is the only Kingdom Age channel that there has ever been or ever shall there be because I am the one foretold as the latter-day Daniel uh, who would restore all things by understanding, uh, by walking in the spirit of Daniel. Uh, blessed are all those of passion coming to see that there are many times when we didn't notice at all that we're reaping what we have been sowing for the good that we did yesterday will bring us happiness when we awake today. But joy is an inside job. So, so it came to pass that the Lord was once asked, we know that you are going to leave us, so who will be our new leader? And Jesus turned to them and said, no matter where you are, you are uh, just let peace guide you your inner peace of love as you go towards our Father of love in the new Jerusalem. For its sake, heaven and earth came into being, the Lord said. And uh, praise God, free at last is the coming new Jerusalem. And you may Google this. Uh, it's a NASA image uh, taken by the Hubble telescope. And uh, it is the new Jerusalem that is coming. And the revelation of it is one of the first things. Because the first is last and the last is first. In the same way Satan has been removed early and all nations have become the Lord's. When the seventh trumpet sounded first because the first is last and the last is first. So praise God. It's time for new understandings so that this world will be turned around because our irresistible one is love and he only irresistibly desires everyone to irresistibly to desire him love. Every knee shall bow at the name of love and every tongue shall uh, confess love. That is Christ's name as John the Beloved named him in 1 John 4, 7. For those who love are born of God and know God because he is love. So blessed are the wise believing that the deepest rivers flow really slow. And for that reason, they'll come to understand the truth of the enigma of enigmas. The mystery of God is over Revelation 10.7 because the covenant has been given. He says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it again. I will write my law and love on your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught in me anymore, says the Lord. He says, for all people shall know me from the least to the greatest of all mankind. For I am the Lord God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. And in these days, the Lord God has appointed a new name unto Israel. They are now Chrislam. Isaiah 62, 2 foretold this because now they have inherited all mankind. Isaiah 54, 3, accurate again. And so for that reason, people need to come to understand that if they ever ask anyone their secret, their secret questions, they would only feel shame for one minute. But if they do not ask someone, they, uh, if they do not ask someone, they will feel shame all of their lives. So it's time to, to, to start, stop being people of ignorance, embracing ignorance as your pillows. 
God's people have always been destroyed for lack of knowledge, and he is overflowingly sending forth new revelation of old revelation. You cannot make bricks without straw, and you cannot restore all things without revelation, people. Uh, the moment, uh, you, you know, Abraham picked up the knife, it committed Emmanuel to coming the first time. Otherwise, it only would have proved that man had the capability to love uh, uh, God more than God had the capability to love us and that our love was greater than God's. Think about that when you realize that Adam and Eve had no belly button. This world was made ancient on day one. Part of the mystery of God is that it's, a, it's an ancient world created brand new like a little cheese. God can do what he desires. So uh, for these reasons, the Lord once said to his, his own, he says, compare me to something and tell me what I am like. So Peter harped in and said, you are like a, a you're a just messenger um, and uh, justice for all. And Matthew said, you are a wise philosopher. But the rest spoke even louder uh, than those two by the blessed smiles upon their faces, cheek to cheek. So blessed are all those believing the truest happiness always consists of making other people happy. For it's much easier to feel really good about life and the world when people around you are happy. And joy is an inside job. And for that reason, Matthew once said unto the Lord, Teacher, my mouth is utterly unable to say what you are like. So Jesus says that's because you have become intoxicated from the bubbling spring of living water that I have poured out. So he took him and uh, um, brought back uh, three sayings unto him. He let him know that there's three things God does not know. He doesn't know a sin he doesn't hate, a sinner he doesn't love, and a better plan of the salvation than the lamb being slain before the foundation of the earth for all people of love, not committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. For it was foretold uh, through Christ uh, that we must be as little children, leave the land of the walking, that let our love overflow again. And uh, But praise God that um, when it, he whispered the secret of the mystery of God, uh, Thomas in turn uh, took that information and he said uh, that Christ, in it, his response, unto Thomas. Thomas said, if I tell you one of the sayings that he spoke to me, you will pick up rocks, you'll stone me, and fire will come out and the rocks will devour you, because he confessed the truth of God's mystery that all the gospel writers could not divulge. It was purposely left vague, and it was meant to be so. Uh, the Bible has always been vague. Um, meant to be so, and uh, we've been looking through a glass darkly, only knowing in part, only understanding in part, and uh, obsolescence of all faith that has been comes with the words, I will be your God, you will be my people, Hebrews 8. And Muhammad said, my people will belong to another that sounds like Islam. It'll happen because of a book proving God's mercy that will remove all distortionality. He knew that book was Jeremiah, and so did the rest of them. Uh, it was the one thing that Jesus never could speak of because it was to, to be tabled for the latter days. And in the latter days, when it, the covenant was given to Israel, uh, it, it, in Jeremiah 31, 1, it says that in these latter days that God would be the Lord God of all families of Israel, from the least to the greatest of, not spiritual Israel, the families of Israel, Israel. And uh, so that is what the Bible says. So blessed are those of truth who will believe the kingdom age truth of the everlasting gospel of which I am the writer, that victory always belongs unto all those of love who will, who will wait half an hour longer than their opponents of unforgiving animosity in order to tell them that they are most beloved evermore, to be patient. And these are the days of COVID. 
God is bringing forth his word of patience to, to uh, keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change Revelation 3. These are the days of Daniel 12, the days of distress that is coming over the world as never has happened before since it was first a nation. There's never been a global pandemic, people. It's the same event. So blessed are all those seeing that the sun doesn't know good or bad since it illuminates and warms everyone equally. But whosoever is blessed enough to find within themselves the peace of blissful hearts is like the sun being warmed by love's hottest passion. And because of that, Jesus once said, if you fast without love, you will bring sin upon yourselves. And if you pray with, without a loving heart, you will be condemned. And if you give for the wrong reasons unto charity, you will harm your own spirits. And when you go into any region and walk about in the countryside, when people take you in, eat what they serve you and heal the sick among you. After all, what goes into your mouth will not defile you. Rather, it's what comes out of your mouth that will defile you. So blessed are all those believing the utter truth that there has never been a tree in the world that the wind hasn't shaken, for no one can ever escape adversity. But the Lord is going to show you how to be a victor and an overcomer, because he is the overcomer of all overcomers. Amen to that.